Let's talk about what it means to be a Christian nationalist. Dr. Ward. All right. Well, you know, I just got this hot off the press. Is what it means to be a Christian nationalist for me. The Word of God tells us that if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. What's the promise for the heirs and the seed of Abraham? It's Genesis chapter 12, verse 2, when God himself tells Abraham, I will make you a great nation. I will make your name great. I will bless him who blesses you. I will curse them that curse you. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. I'm a Christian, and I'm the seed of Abraham. I am a nation. You are a nation. We carry a nation. So there you have it. That's what it means to me. All right, wait, wait, wait. Before you, before you, wait, wait. I need you, I need you to push rewind. Yes, sir. And let me hear that again. Because I don't think they got it yet. Otherwise, they would have responded different. So go ahead and say that again. You know, the greatest witness, if you ever doubt the faithfulness of God, the greatest witness physically in the earth, if you need a testimony of the faithfulness of God, the nation of Israel is, is, is a picture and a monument of the fact that God made a covenant with a man named Abraham and he keeps his word. That's right. He keeps his word. And the nation of Abraham, the nation of Israel came out of Abraham, the covenant that God made with one man. If we're the seed of Abraham, folks, we carry nations within us. We carry nations. America does not define us. We define the nations. The nation can't bless you. He says, and you, the nation, will be blessed. And all the families of the earth will be blessed because of you, and you, and you, and you, and you. We're the seed of Abraham. That promise is for us today. So come on. We want to take it to a whole new level now in terms of what it means to be. We're Christian and we're nationalists because we carry nations. Hallelujah.